This video is all about unlocking the full performance of your NVIDIA GPU with powerful driver adjustments and system tweaks. Before applying these settings, my game was stuttering and the FPS was dropping constantly. But after using these tweaks, everything became smoother and the frame rate increased a lot. If you are dealing with low FPS, lag or inconsistent performance, this guide will help you fix those issues. What Watch until the end so you do not miss any step and make sure to subscribe for more optimization tips. Before you start adjusting any NVIDIA settings for maximum FPS, the first thing you should do is clear the old NVIDIA cache files. This simple step removes outdated shader data and driver leftovers that often cause stuttering, delayed frame rendering or random FPS drops. To clear it, Press the Windows key and R together. Type percent %local app data percent, then press enter. When the folder opens, go one level back to the app data directory. Open the local low folder, then open the NVIDIA folder. Inside it, delete the cache folder completely. Doing this forces your GPU to rebuild a new and clean shader cache the next time you launch a game. This helps reduce micro stutters, improves consistency and frame pacing, and gives your system a smoother foundation before you apply any advanced NVIDIA settings for better performance. Now guys, we will apply a useful Windows registry tweak, which can help smooth out performance in games. This adjustment allows the graphics card to handle certain tasks with less dependence on the CPU resulting in lower processor load and more consistent frame delivery. To apply it, open the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor, then right-click it and select Run as Administrator. When the editor opens, paste the path provided in the description into the address bar at the top and press Enter. On the right side, right-click an empty area, choose New, then select Dord 32 32-bit value. Name it Hoyt Job Esh Mode. After creating it, double-click the entry. Set the value to 2, then select OK. Close the registry editor and restart your PC so the change can take effect. Once enabled, this tweak helps the GPU process frames more directly, which reduces latency, improves motion smoothness, and supports a more stable frame rate in every game you launch. All right guys, now that your system is ready, you can boost your Nvidia GPU even further by using the Max Performance Unlock Pack available on my official website. The link is in the description. After downloading it, open the GPU Registry Tweaks folder first. This is an important step because it contains the core tweak that improves how Windows prioritizes GPU activity during gaming. Inside the folder, you will see a file named Gaming Performance Registry. This file is the starting point of the optimization process. Just double click it, select Yes when Windows asks for permission, then confirm with OK. This instructs Windows to give GPU-related tasks higher priority, which helps improve stability, responsiveness, and overall smoothness while gaming. You will also find two more registry files called Low Medium Optimization and Medium High Optimization. These are built for different levels of hardware. If you are using a lower end or older NVIDIA GPU, choose the low medium optimization file. If you have a modern or more powerful graphics card, go with the medium high optimization option so you can get maximum performance without sacrificing stability. If you are unsure which one to use, drop a comment and I will help you decide. Next, open the GPU thread optimization folder. This folder contains an NVIDIA-specific tweak that improves how your graphics card handles multi-threaded work. It is especially useful for keeping gameplay smooth and raising FPS in demanding titles. 
double click the file, confirm both prompts with yes and finish by pressing OK. Once applied, your GPU manages workloads more evenly, reducing unexpected stutters and helping maintain consistent performance. After that, run MSI Mode Utility as an administrator. When the tool opens, you will see a full list of devices in your system. Find your main NVIDIA GPU and check if MSI mode is enabled. If it is not, enable it to improve how your GPU processor system interrupts. This can reduce input delay, fix uneven frame times and make animations feel smoother. You will also notice an interrupt priority option. Most users should keep this at normal for the best stability. When everything is set, click apply and close the utility. Once that is done, it is time to refine your GPU with MSI Afterburner. After launching the app, you will see sliders for core clock, memory clock, power limit, temperature limit, fan speed and voltage. These control how your GPU behaves on the load. For a safe and easy performance boost, start by raising the core clock in small steps of plus 10 or plus 20 megahertz. Then adjust the memory clock, adding around plus 25 to plus 50 megahertz for better handling of textures and high resolution assets. Keep the power limit at its default value of 100% while raising it can unlock extra performance, the default setting is safer for long gaming sessions. Set the temperature limit to about 83 degrees Celsius, which is a balanced point for performance and longevity. Leave fan speed on auto unless you want cooler temperatures at the cost of extra noise. Do not touch the core voltage because increasing it can raise temperatures quickly and might shorten the life of your GPU unless you are experienced with advanced overclocking and have strong cooling. With these adjustments, you can get a solid performance jump while keeping your system safe and stable. Now guys, if your games are still lagging or your ping is too high, GearUp Booster is a reliable solution that can help stabilize your connection and improve network performance. To get started with GearUp Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the GearUp Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Nod tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Alright guys, to get the best NVIDIA settings for maximum FPS and performance, we'll optimize the NVIDIA app. Many of its settings are not configured by default, which can cause low FPS, lag and stutters. By adjusting these options properly, we can unlock smoother gameplay and higher frame rates. Open the NVIDIA app, go to the driver section and check for the latest update. Always choose the game ready driver 
because it is designed for gaming, faster optimization, and new titles. Studio drivers are focused on creative work and stability, not gaming performance, so avoid them if your goal is faster gameplay and smoother frames. After updating, open settings and go to program settings. This menu lets you control how each game runs. NVIDIA detects your installed games automatically and you can either adjust things yourself or use the auto-optimize option. Auto-optimize is a good starting point because it balances visuals and performance based on your GPU. Just select the game, click optimize and you will instantly get settings tuned for better FPS and cleaner image quality. Next, open global settings to configure system-wide options. Set CUDA GPUs to all so your card uses its full processing power. Disable DSR factors and DSR smoothness because they upscale resolution and waste GPU resources when your goal is maximum FPS. Turn low latency mode to on for quicker input response. If you play competitive shooters, try Ultra for even lower latency, although it increases workload slightly. Enable image scaling and set your sharpness between 20 and 30% to maintain good clarity while running at lighter resolutions. After that, set max frame rate to a value just below your monitor's refresh rate. For example, use 58 FPS for a 60 Hz display or 142 FPS for 144 Hz. This avoids frame pacing issues and keeps gameplay more stable. Leave OpenGL GDI compatibility and Vulkan or OpenGL present method set to auto for maximum compatibility. Change power management mode to prefer maximum performance so your GPU stays at high clock speeds and avoids sudden drops. Keep shader cache size on its default setting, which works well for most systems. For texture clarity, set texture filtering negative LOD bias to allow, which sharpens mipmapped textures. If you notice shimmering, switch it to clamp. Finally, Disable vertical sync because it adds input lag and reduces FPS. If your monitor supports G-Sync or FreeSync, use those instead for smoother gameplay without delay. After applying everything, restart your PC or reload your game so every setting is locked in. These NVIDIA adjustments can significantly improve FPS stability, reduce latency, and make your frame rendering much more consistent. So guys, that was today's video. Thanks for watching and I hope these NVIDIA tweaks helped boost your FPS. Subscribe for more gaming performance guides and stay tuned for the next video.